It's about that time again. What is up guys? Whoa, I'm very white. Kind of like the sneakers that we're about to paint. If you're watching this, that means you got another day. I just ordered the dopest pair of shoes that I've, that I've ever owned, that I've ever owned, okay? And we're going to do some custom painting today because, well, I really do like that camo pattern on my Mustang and might as well try something new so I can show off that drip at the car show. So let's get into it. Bam, here we go, the Nike Air Force One. If you're a sneakerhead, you know this is a staple to your collection. Check out these bad boys. Oh, oh, that was very dark. Ha ha, oh, dang. It's this darkness at four o'clock is, is really getting on my nerves. Here's the supplies. God, it is so freaking dark in here. Okay, I fixed the lighting situation. Here's the supplies. Uh, ignore the super glue, even that couldn't hold together in my last relationship. We have the first step, leather preparer and deglazer. You put this on to get the shiny stuff off of the shoe. Then we paint it blue and gray because those match uh, the car. I'll brush is here. And then uh, the finishing touch, the off-white style shoelaces, the acrylic finisher to go over so it looks shiny in the end. Let's get into it. I feel very Bob Ross right now. Like there can't be any mistakes with this because it's a camo pattern. If I screwed up, I can just paint a black triangle over it and fix it. If I do screw it up, it's a very expensive pair of shoes and about a day's wages. So let's not screw this up. I'm not covering up all the way, you nerd. Okay, we got one shoe all wrapped up. You can see I masked it off with some masking tape. This is just so that acetone stuff doesn't dissolve the rest of the uh, shoe. Kind of like my chances with uh, Taylor Swift dissolve with every album that she releases and continues to get more famous. Um, I am watching about Mr. Beast explaining the YouTube algorithm because as you guys know, the whole journey here is to go YouTuber 2020. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do now, guys. Like, I really, really want this and I'm gonna pump out some ridiculous content for you guys in the next coming month and I'm spending all my time and money to make this channel lit AF. So be ready for the ride. All right, let's do a little time lapse of this second shoe. Before we get into the uh, fun process of putting the acetone on the shoe, there's some something that you're gonna you're gonna want to know about this stuff. Don't make a mistake that I made many times ago, where you put this in a plastic container. That plastic container will dissolve when you put acetone in it, and then it will dissolve itself to the pavement of the driveway of your parents' house. And then you're gonna have to rent a pressure washer just to clean the acetone welded plastic to the driveway off the truck. Just don't do it. Put this in something that it won't dissolve. It will dissolve a solo cup. For sure! Subscribe to the channel. Just do it. Pour a little bit of this on the towel. You swirl it around. I'm gonna do the toe box and the Nike swoosh. Think of it kind of like having a little bit of a cinnamon bun glaze on it. You're just taking the glaze off. We're gonna start with the brightest colors first. So I'm gonna do blue and then we're gonna do gray and then we'll finish with black. It's the same strategy I used to paint the wall and that's because if you ever make a mistake with a light color, you can just paint over it with a darker color. So you wanna start with the light colors first and I have two different brushes here. I'm gonna use this one thick with two C's uh, to do most of the painting and then this one thick with one C to do any kind of detail touch-ups. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I literally just noticed this, but I grabbed this shirt cause it's a workout shirt. If I got paint on it, it would be okay. And it says, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I feel like I should like sketch this out or maybe like plan it. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a pretty straight line. Painting a brand new pair of Air Force Ones. This is sketchy and I'm done. Hope you like the vlog, tune in next week. Update time. All right, here we go guys. This is what the blue is looking like on the Nike so far. Gray has been added to the chat. The design's starting to come together now. These are looking sick. I got, I, am I the first? Automotive YouTuber to make a pair of shoes to match our car. Am I the first one to do that? There's a lot of merch out there, but has anyone done Nikes? All right, you ready to see them? Check it out, check it out. Whoa, bam! 100% complete, black paint added. All we gotta do now, guys, is add one very important ingredient that is the acrylic finish. This is gonna make it so that if these things get dirty, you can wash them. Milky looking stuff, you just want a light, light, light coat over the top there, spread it out nice and even where you can't even really see that it's been placed down. And what this does is it places that protective film. Think of it kind of like the clear coat on your car. 
It protects the paint. Put on a layer, let it dry, put on one more layer, and then we'll be good to take off the paint. Remember, anytime you do something like this, guys, patience is the name of the game. Short-term satisfaction is not uh, what you want to do. If you rush this thing, your shoes will look like you rush this thing. And I know this is my first time painting shoes. I used to like be super into models. So like I would paint, like not models like the girls on my channel now, models like like the dorky kind, like the airplanes and the tanks and all that stuff. I used to paint that stuff when I was a little kid with like tweezers and, and needles and stuff. I was like really into it. So I guess that, that skill set has translated over to shoes. So I guess I'm cool now. I don't know. Maybe still not. So the shoes, they have to, it's very late. The shoes have to dry overnight because we got to be patient because we want really good looking shoes. We're going to fast forward to the next day. Good morning, crusty crew. As you can tell, it's been many days since my uh, facial hair has grown up a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 way too bright, way too bright. Yeah, the sun is out, so the lighting is still atrocious in my room. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. All right, you guys ready to see these bad boys? Because I've been staring at this taped up Nike for like four days, and I'm trying to take this tape off. Let's check it out. Woo. Oh, Where, I need this to glide like wrapping paper on a Christmas gift and anticlimactic once again. Hard to do with one hand, I'm sorry. Way too many innuendos in one video. I'm, I'm, oh, 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 there it is, boys. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just gonna speed this thing up. How about we, um, how about we just get that tape off in three, two, one. Ah, there it is, boys. Look at how clean that looks. Swoosh, baby. I think uh, I think we need some laces, but we're not gonna do the white ones. I'm thinking something a little more off-white. Oh yes. How about how about times two? Ooh, yes, sir. Got the off-white laces. These are a hundred percent fake, but who cares? These are some unique-looking Nikes. Matches the whole theme we have going here. I cannot wait to flex these at a car show. Guys, I drop videos like this every single Tuesday, every single Sunday, and every single Thursday. I'm going YouTuber 2020. Man, well, we are all in on this, baby. I cannot wait to get that supercharger in. I can't wait to race the Burlocker. I can't wait to do other stuff with other big YouTubers. Might be something with Life Apollos in the near future. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell, baby. And I will catch you at the next episode. Peace. Oh. I might lie, I, I, lie to you just to get through the night I, 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 with you. Hope that's alright. Know you lie, I, I, lie to me. It's only right.